Fatty acids have a very specific way that they are named. Um, now, the nomenclature, nomenclature style actually depends on kind of what field you're in. So first I'm gonna introduce the nomenclature that is used in kind of the commercial, nutritional, and biochemical context. So this is gonna be the most important context for us. And then I'll talk about how they name things a little bit differently in the chemistry world. So first of all, when we are naming a fatty acid, we wanna know how many carbons are in it. So we wanna count the number of carbons. The next thing we want to know are are how many double bonds there are, because um, that you know is going to be very important for the function of our fatty acid. And then third, we want to know where is the first double bond. Now, in order to know where the first double bond is, we need to count our fatty acids in our tail. So when we are count, or we need to count the carbons. Pardon me, in our fatty acid tail. So when we are counting the carbons in our fatty acid, we have to know which end to start at. Which end counts as number one? When we are in this commercial, nutritional, biochemical area, we count the methyl end of our fatty acid tail as carbon number one. So in this example here, we would start to name this particular fatty acid. We would start by counting at the methyl end. So that's one. We see that we end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 18 carbons total. We see that we have two double bonds here. And then we see that our first double bond comes at carbon number six. Now the other specific nomenclature that is used here is the term omega. Now if you think back to the Greek alphabet, omega is the last letter in the Greek alphabet. So we um, use the term omega to say how far away we are from, from the end. So um, in this case, this would be uh, we would use the term omega to denote where the first double bond is. Um, and so in this case, our first double bond is at carbon number six, so we'd call, we would call this an omega-6 fatty acid. So putting all of that together, this fatty acid here would be um, named as 18 to omega-6. Um, and that turns out that this happens to be linoleic acid, one of our essential fatty acids. So that is how we name things in kind of mostly in the nutrition text. Now frequently um, you will also notice that omega is sometimes uh, abbreviated as N, so we would just say our N6 fatty acids, so that's something to keep aware of in the literature. Now, as I mentioned before, if we were in the chemistry context, we would name things a little bit differently. In chemistry, they count the number of carbons starting at the carboxyl end. Um, and then the other thing that they do when they're naming fatty acids in chemistry is they name how, they name the, the location of each of the double bonds. And then additionally, oops, they use the, um, the Greek letter delta to, to indicate this. So in this, if we were naming this exact same fatty acid using the chemistry nomenclature, we would again, we would still have 18 carbons in it, but this time we're, use, we're saying that carbon number one is over here on the carboxyl end. And then we would see we still have two double bonds, so that's the same. But then we would see our first double bond would occur at carbon number nine. So that's delta nine. And then our second double bond is occurring over here at uh, delta 12. So the whole way that one would be written is 18 to delta 9, 12. Again, that's linoleic acid. Now, um, throughout the rest of our lectures together, we will be using the omega um, terminology.